Hey guys, Angel Rivera, Florida bed bug experts. Just wanted to kind of go over a few things with you guys on how to inspect for bed bugs if you're looking to see if you have them. First thing you're going to need is a very bright flashlight. This is a 1000 lumen flashlight and it has different adjustment settings. Uh, this doesn't necessarily have to be the flashlight you use. You can use the one off the back of your cell phone, but this is going to be a little bit easier to uh, locate the insect activity. First things first, bed bugs like to gather where you guys sleep where you breathe. So towards the top of the bed is where we're going to look first. First thing you want to do is take your pillows and take your pillows and shine a flashlight as high up as you possibly can and look down on your pillowcase. What you're going to find if you have a lightly colored pillowcase is you'll find little black spots that almost resemble an ink pen touching your material. So it'll run in the shape of a cross or what we call a crosshair and you'll look along the pillowcases to see if you see any of those types of signs. If you see those types of signs, you're going to want to delve a little bit farther, but that's the first indication, okay? They can be very, very small, but they can be very large crosshairs. They can be just little black dots along the pillowcase, and that's the first indication that there's something there. Now, once you've found any activity there, or you're, if you're still concerned and want to keep looking, what we simply suggest you do is pull the sheets back one layer at a time. If you'll pull the sheets back and you'll look at these seams, you'll be able to see if there's any insect activity there. You'll be able to find out if there's any, any more of those black stains, it's fecal matter. And you'll be able to find out if there's any live insects in this area. And once you pull that back, you still don't see anything and you want to delve even further. You want to check these sheets, the seam of the sheets, where the sheets meet the mattress and where the mattress meets the box spring. Those areas are going to be the most prevalent for this insect activity problem. If you'll peel the sheet back like this, you'll be able to look in the seams of the bed, the seams of the mattress, and then once you pick this mattress, you'll be able to look at the bottom of the mattress and where the framing of the bed is. These are going to be the areas where these insects are going to tend to go to, to, uh, to harbor. So we want to check those areas. Now, once you've checked those areas, if you still haven't seen anything or you're still concerned, you're going to want to check the back of the headboard. 35 to 40 percent of all your insect activity is going to be in this direct area. You want to check the frame back here where the screws meet the framing, where the frame meets the, the other wood framing to it, and where the boards actually connect. Because that's where the insects are going to be. Now, if you're still trying to find activity, look towards the bottom of the bed in the exact same areas. That's, it's going to be predominantly towards the head of the bed. But these are the first indications and first places you're going to want to look to see if you have any symptoms. If you can't find anything else, please don't hesitate. Call a professional. If you still have some concerns or questions, give us a call or check out our website. It's flbedbugexperts.com where we have other instructional videos where you can look to see what other areas you can look to verify if you do have these insects or not. Once again, I'm Angel Rivera, Florida Bedbug Experts. If you need us, we're here. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you soon.